It's May. We just got the new statistics out from the MLS reporting on what's going on in the Seattle housing market. So here's the Seattle housing market update from May 2023. So as you can see on the screen, we are right over here looking at median home prices and they are up across the board. We're looking at Seattle, King County and Snohomish County. So we have been going up since January and I will say we're just not up as high as we were last year at this time. So year over year, if you bought at the peak of the market, you're down a little bit. You've lost some equity, but don't feel too bad. You have a fantastic interest rate that you're sitting on, uh, making easier payments probably in some cases than if you bought at this price in today's interest rate environment. But we are down about 10% from where we were at this time last year. Now, looking at previous years, where did the market peak? It usually peaked in April and May, and then we had some dieback on pricing. So if you have been thinking about selling and you're waiting for the market to continue to improve, that might not be the story for the rest of the year. We might be at our high watermark here in the next uh, 30 to 60 days, and then we're gonna see the market soften up. So if you're sitting on the sidelines waiting for appreciation, um, don't count on that in the next 12 months. Um, same time, let's see what last year, the peak was in May, and then we had some dieback. This is 2021, this is 2022. So we can expect, even though we are up and going up this spring, that that strong growth trend might not continue into the remainder of the year. Um, many folks think we'll be down year over year, uh, maybe a pretty flat market would be my guess. And then um, over time, we should see some appreciation start back again. Now we have this recession talk in the news. If that continues, we may see the Fed start to lower interest rates, making it easier for borrowers and spurring the economy a little bit. So uh, if anything, if this recession talk continues, expect lower interest rates. Right now, we do have a lot of buyers looking and we don't have very much supply. So that could affect the forecast going forward. We have high demand, low supply, which keeps prices strong. So this has been Emily Cressy with your Seattle real estate market forecast. Thanks so much for joining me. You can always find out more at homeproassociates.com.